going on, everybody? Goes Laka, aka. I <laughs> Subscribe, like, comment, share all my videos. Make sure you hit the notification bell icon to notify all new videos that's posted on this channel. Also, if you feel like subscribing to the channel or donate to the channel, I'm sorry, donate to the channel, feel free to donate. The donation links are in the description box. Feel free to donate. All donations are welcome, big or small. Also, Buckles Locker Facebook. Follow the Buckles Locker Facebook on um Spoke the buckles like a group on Facebook. Man, I am having a hard time talking right now. What is going on? I'm about to go to the gym. So, anyway, buckles like a Facebook group. Feel free to join that too. Um, how's everybody doing? Everybody had a good weekend. Happy Monday to everybody. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to all my pirates, my C band, the, the, the stick carriers, the buckles lockers, the die hearts you know buckles like you know all across the world all the drivers happy monday happy happy monday anyway enough of the happy on it that's like i'm gonna try to keep this as positive if i can positive 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 or positivity i'm trying to bring but it's kind of hard to bring positivity during the off season when you keep coming up uh, with with stuff that or keep hearing things about people on the team that's starting to aggravate me you know, and I, I got to talk about this. And as you join the chat room, uh, like the live stream, okay? Like the live stream. We got people joining. All these people joining in and nobody's liking the video. What's up? Y'all know the routine, now. Do I got to call y'all out? Like the video. What's up? You Everybody be coming in here not liking the video. That's how I stay alive. Anyway, my lifeline. But anyway. Let's get down to it. Enough of the joking and, 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 and sweet talk, right? Let's y'all 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 came to see, hear me talk about the real stuff, right? Enough of the shenanigans, right? Because it's Monday. I'm trying to make it worthwhile, right? Gerald McCoy. The saga continues. When is this damn thing gonna end? Huh? Gerald McCoy got all kind of stuff coming out of the Gerald McCoy camp. His wife talking about he gonna leave and she, he not happy and he not gonna take a pay cut and you know the Cleveland Browns are they gonna trade for him uh, they're not really interested in Rappaport or you know from NFL Network you know all this nonsense right the best teams in the NFL don't have this off season off season nonsense the best teams in the NFL don't go into the offseason with drama or issues or distractions. This is a distraction. See, this is why I have a problem with Jason Light. He's handled this situation very bad. And I, yeah, I can point out Bruce Arians too, but Jason, 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 you got to address this, man, once and for all. OTAs. Ten teams have started OTAs today. Ten. Why are we still talking about Gerald McCoy? Why? Why is Gerald McCoy a topic in the OTAs, the beginning of the OTAs? Are we really going to go into training camp with this over our heads? Am I going to have to make video after video about when is Gerald McCoy going to leave? I can talk about plenty other things about the books. But here I am. Making a video about Gerald freaking, I got weak biceps McCoy. And weak pecs. Now, I don't know what's going on with this situation. Because I'm not behind the scenes. But from the outside looking in, it's a wishy-washy situation. With the Jason Pierre Paul situation, he out four to five months. The Bucks are trying to, now the reports are they're trying to give him an extension to lighten up the load on his uh guaranteed money because you got cap hit and you got cash value. His cap hit and his cash value is pretty much the same. 13 million cap hit, 13 million cash value. And the Bucks are one of the teams, according to Ian Rappaport and company, that they like to keep their salary cap situation, you know, cap hit and cash hit equal levels 
So cutting Gerald McCoy would not hurt the Bucks. Actually, it would help the Bucks. Thirteen million dollars freed up. You got over twenty-five million dollars in a defensive tackle and a defensive end, and they're both over thirty. JPP and Gerald McCoy. That is a lot of money for two guys on the D line. We got. 20 plus million dollars tied up to the D line between two players. And they're both over 30. Or JPP might be 30 or 30, going on 31. New England don't have that. But that's New England though, right? You know, New England just a different beast, different animal, right? If Gerald McCoy wants to stay on his team, it looks like he's gonna have to pay, take a pay cut. No matter how, it's either a pay cut or an extension. But you're not getting $13 million from the Bucks. Like, he, he, I don't know if he's on his hard stance. He's being a difficult, difficult human being. But, Gerald, you know better than this. You're not worth $13 million. Gerald got to have some type of sense that you're not worth $13 million right now. You can't. There's no way. You're 31. Who is paying $31 million for a defensive tackle? Now, if you want an extension, we can give you like a two-year, $14 million extension. and give you $7 million a year. But somebody got to go. Who's going who's gonna to break? If the Bucks release Gerald McCoy, that helps the Bucks and it also hurts the Bucks. It hurts the Bucks along with helping the Bucks. Because if we cut Jerome McCoy and the JPP situation is very tricky and he doesn't come back and we get rid of Jerome McCoy, it's like, damn. But if we keep Jerome McCoy, we hit $13 million and then JPP comes back. That's another $12, $13 million, $14 million. Now we got two guys, damn near $25 million. See, this is a really interesting situation. And the longer this situation goes on, the worse it's going to get. The more distractions is going to get. He hasn't showed up to any of the off-season training camp, off-season OTAs, the involuntary or voluntary workouts. He hasn't showed up at all. He is staying away doing his own thing, and that is so uncharacteristic of Jeremy McCoy. Jeremy McCoy is a team player. Okay, as much as as much as stuff we give Jeremy McCoy, I gotta admit he is a team player. But him working out away from the team? That's unlike Gerald McCoy. And for him to do that, that's a telltale sign of, you know what you know what they say is uh you know, two arms up, arms folded. You got a problem? That's how Gerald McCoy is right now. Gerald McCoy is Gerald McCoy is doing this right here. He's not he's not budging. And the Bucks front office, BA, T B, Jason, they're trying to figure out what they're gonna do with him. I know they have looked at tape after tape after tape after tape after tape on Jeremy McCoy on how can he fit this defense as a three technique. He's not versatile enough to play the five technique. Can he play nose guard? No, he can't play nose guard. Can he stand up and rush the passer? No. Jeremy McCoy is a three technique and a three four defense. That's it. And the majority of the snaps are going to be out of three the three four alignment. Don't get me wrong, there will be some 43s. You know, I, I would say a 70 30. A 70 30 chance that we'll be more in four three, I mean three four than four three. Yep. We're going to be in the 3-4 quite a bit this year. And then even if that's the case, even if we do run a 4-3, do we pay a guy $13 million to be a part-time player? Because Gerald McCoy is a 4-3 defensive tackle. One gap. Penetrate. Then talking about trading for Jeremy McCoy. What do we trade Jeremy McCoy for? You ain't getting no first rounder for Jeremy McCoy. 
you, I don't even think you can get a second run for him. Maybe if a team is that dumb. But remember, you got to look on the other side. If the team, if a team like the Browns, because they need to keep popping up, if they trade for Gerald McCoy, not only they got to pay Gerald McCoy $10 million, $10 plus million, dollars, they got to give up a second round pick. That is a very valuable pick. First, second, and third round picks are the meat of your roster. Do you really think a team wants to give up a second rounder or first rounder? I'm pretty sure you can get a third rounder out of a team. But those are stretched right there because people don't like, because third rounds are becoming the new first round. Facts. But Jason can make a decision. BA, Todd. We can't go into all, we cannot go into training camp with Gerald McCoy questions being asked every freaking day and he's not going to show up. He's made that abundantly clear. He's not going to show up for OTAs. Period. Like the video as you come into the chat room. We got all these people in the chat room not liking the video. I am disappointed in you guys. The buckles like a subscriber list. I am disappointed. You are in the chat room and not liking the video. I'm going to fire you. I'm going to fire you like they fired Dirk Cutter. <laughs> anyway, um, but there is a risk of Jerome McCoy that he'll get picked up by an divisional opponent <laughs> and give all the secrets. But if the Bucks keep him, it, it won't hurt. But you can't keep him at $13 million. You can't keep Jerome McCoy at $13 million. Yeah, clap. You know, I'm going to get some... No, nah, I ain't going to do that. Anyway. I don't know, guys. This Gerald McCoy video... I mean, this Gerald McCoy situation is getting on my nerves. The saga continues. The saga continues. We're going to see how this going to turn out. But the OTAs are here. Football season has officially started. The OTAs is started today. Ten teams have started their OTAs. We are in football mode. So more videos will be coming to you from Buckle Zaka because football is here. Thankfully. I've been waiting. It's like it's like a drug, right? Addiction, right? Anyway. Tell me what you guys think about the uh Gerald McCoy situation. Are we gonna trade him? Are we gonna keep him? At $13 million, are we going to keep him and give him an extension to, uh, to spread his money out? Tell me what you guys think about the Jeremy McCoy situation because I'm going to be making a few videos until he's gone. I'm going to talk about this every time, probably once a week until he's gone. We're going to have, the, we're going to have a powwow about this once a week. How about that? Once a week, we're going to talk about Jeremy McCoy. It's going to, I'm going to have to dig deep into the crate and go back to his best games, his best seasons, just to talk about him. Anyway, leave all your comments in the comment section of this video. I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the love I'm getting. And I appreciate all the donations, the super chats. But this is Buckles Laka coming to you again. Subscribe to the channel. Share all my videos. Like all my videos. Keep supporting the channel. I do this for y'all. The quest to build this Buck brand is alive and running. Shouts out to all the Bucks channels. Shouts out to all the Bucks Facebook groups, social media groups. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep supporting the Bucks. We looking for a good year this year to, to, to basically get at these other team, mem team fan bases. But anyway, I'm about to go work out. Ooh. I'm about I'm about to go work out. I don't know about you guys. You guys need to be at work or something. I don't know what y'all doing. Oh, at lunch, go to work or whatever. You getting off work? But I'm about to go work out for my lunch break. Stay tuned for my videos. I got more videos. I got more for you, brethren. I'm gonna make more videos this week. OTAs is here. Football season is back.
Buckles Locker. To all my pirates and my sea bandits, stick carriers, bookaholics, diehards, book fans all across the world, this is Buckles Locker. Y'all know my slogan. Fire those cannons. Seize the day. Raise the flag. I'm out.